and I'ma just sprinkle. Bruh. That was not a little. <laughs> to do a video as you all can see by the title which will consist of a cook with me video so today i'll be making bay chicken broccoli and twice baked potatoes y'all already know what to do be sure to like comment and subscribe on this video be sure to follow me on instagram at xoxo underscore it'll be in the description box as well as listed on this video so you cannot miss it so make sure you follow your girl so you can get updates on whenever i decide to post a new video as well as tips on my personal life, what goes on behind Transcetta TV. I apologize if I say I'm different in this video. I'm a little congested. I'm not feeling 100%, but I'm making this video for you guys still. So, let me go ahead and get all my materials and my all natural fresh chicken by Tyson. And these chicken wings are big, and I really didn't want big chicken wings. I wanted small chicken wings, but they didn't have it, so. Other main ingredients, I have my potatoes. I got four, so I'm gonna cook two potatoes today. I have my broccoli florets. Also, these broccoli doesn't take long to cook, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep it in the freezer until I use it. The baked chicken is really what's gonna take the longest, so. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on first. I can see I got this big old bowl and I'm not nearly gonna use as much space in this bowl, but this is the bowl I'm gonna be baking my chicken in. Also got my big cutting board. For my potatoes, when I make it, I got some heavy whipping cream and I also got some sharp cheddar cheese, some sharp cheddar cheese to use as well. So I wash my chicken as you all can see i broke them apart i'm only cooking four because i'm making well i'm eating two today and two tomorrow as leftovers and i put in the um put in the other two chicken wings in a ziploc bag and put them in the freezer so i can use them when i decide to make chicken <music> see like this extra like fat part I don't want that so that's what I'm just about to do now because I don't need that part so <laughs> too fast so we're gonna see i'm gonna let y'all know what i said first thing i'm gonna do is spray my bowl with pan just to make sure that i don't have my chicken stick to it so i'm about to get ready to season my chicken with lari seasoning salt as you all can see and y'all this is my first time making baked chicken so first time's a charm we like a lot of seasoning over here, so I'm not going to be scarce with my seasoning. Now I'm going to 
take is my paprika. After I did my seasoning side, I'm gonna just sprinkle that on here. And don't be scared of that seasoning, boo. <laughs> black pepper and I'm about to sprinkle that on here as well. Get ready to flip over my chicken. Because I want to make sure that both sides of my chicken is coated. So I'm just going to repeat that process. I got my chicken all coated. I pretty much made sure that all of the pieces are covered. So y'all, I did just wipe my hands off, so I'm about to get ready to just lay my chicken in my pan on how I want it to cook. Just for presentation, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit parsley on it because I like parsley and I feel like it's very beautiful. <laughs> Got my parsley on here. So next thing I'm about to do is take my crunchy crock butter and I'm basically just about to Put some slices of butter in between my chicken just to make sure that, you know, it's moisturized. I don't even know if I'm using the right terminology, y'all, but I basically just want to make sure my chicken is moist because the last thing I like is dry out baked chicken. This is how my baked chicken looking before I put it in the oven. As y'all can see, I got my butter in between it. And yeah, I'm just about to get ready to put it inside of my oven. And yeah, I got my oven on 350 degrees and I'm gonna let this cook for an hour. So I'll take it out around 4.30. So now that I have my area clean again, I'm about to take some aluminum foil and put it on the bottom of my cooking sheet. Take enough aluminum foil to basically cover the pan, but not too much because it's only two potatoes, so. So now that I have my aluminum foil cut, I'm going to put my two potatoes in the middle and I'm going to like make a bowl with it. And I will explain like why in a minute. But basically I'm like, making a bowl with it so I can make it easier on myself to basically pick up the cheese and stuff whenever it does fall off the potatoes. So yeah, I got my bowl going on here. So basically I'm going to cut my potatoes every half inch, um, not all the way through, but just enough so I can put my cheese as well as my butter. So not all the way, just enough to like put the stuff in between it. My potato cut, as y'all can see, it's not cut all the way, but it's cut enough to put my butter and cheese in between it. So I'm about to do the same, the same routine with my little potato. Oh, y'all. Really, Tran, really. <laughs> I'm gonna still use it though. take my stick of sharp cheddar cheese and I'm about to cut it up so I can put it in between my potatoes. I'm put my cheese in my little slots. I'm about to take my butter and I'm going to put my butter in between the other slots that don't have the cheese in it. Now that I got my potatoes on my platter, as you can see, I'm about to go ahead and put it inside of the oven. 
So I'm about to put this in here for 45 minutes. Now that my food is in the oven cooking back there, as you can see, I'm about to start washing these dishes, make sure I get my space organized and everything because the last thing that I like is wait to the end to wash all my dishes when I'm ready to eat. So I'm about to just wash my dishes and watch YouTube on my laptop. Then after this, I'm going to get ready to probably take my food out around 4.40, 5 o'clock. So after that rolls around, until then, I'm gonna get ready to do my homework because I have a lot of homework to do. So yeah, I'm about to wash these dishes, put like a little montage, put music over and everything so you all can just wait with me while I get my food. Yeah, like narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the North, got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. The wiggle. We'll be in rapping Kilo. Yeah. Stub nose with potato. So I'm taking my heavy cream. I'm just about to open this. Just about to pour it on top of my potatoes. Like so. Great value PS the green cheese. I used to use the Mexican cheese, but they don't have it out here. I'm about to put this back in the oven for 10 minutes. Take my bay chicken out and put my broccoli on the stove. So we gonna put this in here for 10 minutes. This is the finished process of my food. This is my baked chicken. You can see them seasons on that, don't play with me. And that's my broccoli, and then this is my loaded twice baked potato. I did that, boo. I did that. <laughs> if you all enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on it. Also, be sure to put on, turn on your post notifications so you all can get notified when I decide to post a new video. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at xoxotrend underscore so you all can get updated on my life whenever I don't post on YouTube. And yeah, the food tastes really good, and I'm going to eat it because I do not want my food to get cold. So if you guys want more cooking videos, please let me know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My first time making all of this, and your girl did that, period. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.